All right, you event photographers are really gonna love this feature. Yes, Adobe has added a books module to Lightroom 4, and it's great. It's not gonna give you the full feature set you would get in something like InDesign, but it's very easy to use. We've got some great templates here. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity here for you to actually print out your own books and do different things. So let's have a look at all these features really quick. One of the modules you may get excited about in Lightroom 4 Beta is the book module. We now have the ability to create books and send them out for print. Um, you'll notice here that the provider is Blurb. So you have two options. You can either send them to Blurb or you can actually have a book printed or we can create it as a PDF and use it for online distribution or print it ourselves. Now these are going to be really great for event photographers and people that need to put together little books and collections of photographs that they want to print. Uh, we can see here when we send it out we even have a price there of what it's going to cost. Uh, this doesn't have as many features as you would find in something like InDesign but for somebody that doesn't have any layout skills this just really makes it really really easy. So let's have a look at creating a new book. We're just going to go into the collection, create a book, and we'll call it test. And then we hit OK. And now we want to figure out, OK, what, what do we want our book to look like? So we're going to go under our sizes here. Let's do an 8 by 10. And uh, we can choose the type of cover we want, soft cover, hard cover, however you want to do it. We can choose the paper type, etc., etc. So what we're going to do here is we're going to notice we've got three options. If we click here, this shows the entire layout of the entire book. This one here shows it as a spread, which is two pages together, or the individual pages. So let's look at the entire layout. Right now we want, might want to add a few more pages. So we just click Add Page to add the pages. Uh, one of the things you could do too is if you create a selection here, you could, you could make a collection of photographs that you know maybe we've got a small collection here let's just go past month here we've got you know a couple of photographs here we've got nothing in there nope we've got those two or let's grab these two for example and if you wanted to hit the auto layout just go like that and it will automatically create a book based on those photographs and then you could go in and you could modify these later but let's go back to our book that we are working on the test one and what we're going to do is we're actually going to add some photographs manually. So I'm going to grab some. Let's scroll around and see what we've got here. See if we've got something interesting that we can use. I'm just going to click and drag here to scroll. All right, we've got some different pictures that I shot in, in Louisiana. So let's, let's use some of these. So I'm just going to take the railway track here, and I'm just going to put that one on the front. And I'm going to put the, uh, the other railway track there on the back. So if I wanted to do that. Uh, we can drag some different things here. Let's take this, for example. Just going to drag it in here. Maybe take that one, pop it in there, this one here. And so I'm just kind of just grabbing pictures really at, at random right now and just dropping them in to create different types of layouts. So you can see how quick and easy it is to do this. Now let's have a look at, say, this, this spread here. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click there for the spread, and it's going to show me both of them. All right, it's not very exciting just with one picture per page. So I can click down, and I have the options here. I can choose two photos or three photos per page. Let's grab two, and let's do this one here. It's going to give me the option to have text on the side. So notice we do that. We can actually go there, and we can type in text now. And we'll just pop that in there. I can go here and I can grab another photograph. So maybe this time I'm going to grab this one, pop it in, and I can click and drag it to reposition it. And one of the other things you'll notice is we have the option to zoom. So we could zoom in if we wanted and locate, move this right into our location. Don't drag it right out of the frame. As you saw, it doesn't work well. So if we wanted to do that, maybe and just create some cool shapes, we could do that. And at any time, you know, we can look at the, uh, the pages here, too. We can see the different layouts here. So we could change these if we wanted to have it go this way with the uh, caption. Actually, I think I just created a page. That wasn't the right way to do that. Let me just undo that. And that's one of the great things that we have the ability to undo. So we click down here, and we want to change it here. So let's do that. We'll change it to, oh, I don't know. This one looks interesting. And you can see that we can do that if we don't like it there. Let's just go for this one, and you can see we can experiment with these different uh, 
different layouts there. We lost our text there because it dropped the text frame. But no big deal. You would normally lay it out before you would add your text. And then once again, if we don't like this photograph, I'm just going to find something else. I don't know. Maybe this one here. We'll pop this one in here. It's kind of interesting. And we'll just drag it over. And you can see we can start to build this page. Now, what if we want to add some text to here? Well, we can do that as well. If we go down here, you're going to see these options here. We're just going to call it a photo caption and click on here. And we can start to type. Okay. And then what we can do, let's just go to the single page so we can see what we're doing. Let's select it. And we have options here for the type. We can change the color. Let's make it white. Or actually maybe get a little bit of blue or something just, just for fun, just so I can show that we can do that. And we can close that out. We can change the size of it. We can change the opacity. And, you know, of course we can choose, you know, the type of font we want. And you can see that's basically what it's going to look like. Now, I can't just grab this box and move it around. It doesn't give me that option. So we can move the page caption up and down. So we can put its location there. And let's type in. And once again, we can change the color. Yeah, obviously we're not going to do that. That's going to be pretty ugly. Um, you know, we can make that blue if we wanted. Usually I, I'm pretty much a big fan of just using black and white. But uh, I just wanted to do that just so you could see. And if we want to bring it down, then obviously all we do is we just go back to our just offset settings there. There we go. We can go further up or down. So you can you can add the the uh, text there. Let's go back out. Let's look at our entire book, and uh, I think you get the general idea. We can go into another book I was working on here. Uh, just a little Hawaii one is having a little bit more fun with that, and we can look at it here. We've been playing around with some different uh, features, and we can scroll through the pages here. So you can see we can have inset photographs on top of each other. We can have uh, text, body text there with the photographs and, and different things like that. So when you're done, all you want to do is export it to PDF or send it off to Blurb uh, for printing. So there we go. That's just a basic overview of the book module. You know, I'm going to be creating some much more um, in-depth training as we get further on down the road. So I hope this is enough for you to wet your feet and get a little feel of what you can do inside this module.